Hi Crochetters of the World! In this tutorial I want to show you how to work a beautiful shawl and worked with the pinwheel stitch in triangular shape. I think this stitch Hi everyone! I think this stitch is uh, mm, not this stitch, this project so the triangular shawl made with the pinwheel stitch it's a classic of crochet I really adore it uh, I made this um, some years ago, three or four years ago and I don't have a um, graphic representation so don't ask me for a graphic representation I just have um, these, because I really don't know where I found the the pattern for this one. But I know that I will follow this one and I will show you how to work it. It's not difficult. It's just we we have to be we have to pay attention. And uh, I will go and crochet along with you. Uh, until the um, let's say not all the pattern because <laughs> it uh, it would be a, a very very long tutorial <laughs> but uh, until the part that you can figure out the um, or the whole pattern okay so um, it will be okay you you'll um, continue on uh, by your own uh, after this uh, tutorial, I think it will be a three parts tutorial because you know it's a little bit. So, this is the project, and mine I just want to show you mine. It's really, really look, I don't know how to <laughs> show you, but it's really, really big. I, I, I like it, and I think it's a four season project because you can wear it in all four seasons I think it's really nice for a summer uh, chilly evening to, to wear or in autumn or springtime or even in, in uh, winter uh, over your coat it will be really really nice it can be a nice gift or uh, a nice shawl for um, for um, you can you can work it. This is uh, worked in uh, wool yarn, really thin wool yarn. But you can work it in cotton, in every kind. I don't know. Of, mm, the the idea is that it must be a a thin yarn. I am working with. Uh, I worked this with a 2.5 millimeters hook, and I will work my uh, the one that I will begin with you in the tutorial uh, with the 2.5 millimeters hook. So it must be a thin and soft um, yarn. Okay, that's all. So hope you enjoy the tutorial and. Uh, Let's get started! So, let's get started with the project. I uh, am working, as I said, with a 2.5 mm hook and a thin thread. Actually, I put in uh, two threads because uh, it's a wool and acrylic. So, we begin with the... sorry we begin with the magic circle actually so like this put the tail under like this you have a loop with the magic ring now insert the hook into the loop and pull the yarn through it okay now make a chain Oops, sorry, I just wanted to show you how to make the magic loop, but okay, now 
a chain one and here we have the magic loop now chain two more and we have our first um, double crochet now chain one more for the chain one space because we have to make six double crochets now we have the first one so five more with a chain one space in between them so let's get started with the second double crochet and a chain one then the third double crochet and a chain one then the fourth double crochet and a chain one the fifth double crochet one two three four five and the chain one and another double crochet so the sixth double crochet and what we have here now we can actually close our magic ring or magic circle and what we have here we have six double crochets and five chain one spaces and this is our first row for the second row we will work one two three four five groups of um, two double crochets sorry you cannot see so this was the first and this is the second row two so five one two three four five groups of two double crochets with a chain two in between them we begin always we begin the next row with a chain three so chain three turn your work and into the first chain one space work your first group of two double crochets one and two then chain two and into the next chain one space work two double crochets one and two again chain two and into the next chain one space work two double crochets one and two chain two and into the next chain one space work two double crochets one and two chain two again and into the next and the last chain one space work two double crochets one and two now this is what we have so we have one two three four five groups of two double crochets and one two three four groups four uh, sorry chain one chain two spaces at the end of the second row for the third row we will work into the chain two spaces one two three four shell stitches composed by two double crochets two chain chains and two double crochets so again chain three to begin the next uh, row turn your work and into the chain two space work the first shell so two double crochets chain two and again two double crochets all into the same chain two space chain two and again into the chain two space work a shell stitch composed by two double crochets chain two and two double crochets for our pattern all the shells will be composed by 
two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now again, chain two, and into the next chain two space, work another shell. So when I say shell, you have to make a shell, it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, now again, chain two, and into the last chain two space, work another shell stitch. Chain two, and two more double crochet to complete the last shell of the third row. Now, this is what we have so far. We have one, two, three, four shells. Okay, now for the four, fourth round, uh, row, sorry, one, two, three, four, we will work one shell into the, sh into the first shell, chain four, one shell into the second shell, chain three, one shell into the third shell, chain four, one shell into the fourth shell. So let's get started with our turning chain three, turn your work and as I said before into the first shell, so into the chain two space of course of the first shell of the previous row work a shell. Okay, now chain four, three, four. Into the next shell work a shell, so into the chain two space of course, oops. One, two double crochets, chain two, and again two double crochets to complete the shell. Now chain three and into the third shell of the previous row work another shell. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets for the shell. Now chain four and into the last shell work the last shell of this row. So two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. One and two. And this is what we have at the end of our fourth row. Into our fifth row we will begin the pinwheel motif with the first row of the pinwheel motif because this will be our pinwheel motif and this is are our shells. Okay, so as you can see the shawl has um, this border of two shells in between with a chain four space. So this is, this is our constants. So one shell, chain four, one shell. This is the beginning and ending of our, of every, each of our rows. Of, okay, so chain three, turning chain three, then shell, chain four, shell. And then, as I said before, uh, we will begin now into the fifth row with our pinwheel um, uh, motif because it's not a stitch, I don't know, a stitch is a double crochet. Pinwheel, it's a motif because it's composed by chain stitch, uh, single crochet and double crochet. Okay, now uh, as you can see the pinwheel motif is worked in one, two, three rows of double crochets and then one, two, three, four, five rows of chain three spaces and single crochets. Now, 
chain 3, turning chain 3 and then into our first shell, work a shell. Actually into a chain 2 space of our first shell of course. So chain, uh, double, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets for our first shell and chain four. This is our constants. Chain four and into the next shell work a shell which is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets chain two and two double crochets okay now chain two and we will always chain two before and after our uh, double crochets here of the motif a uh, pinwheel motif so we will chain two three double crochets chain two okay then chain two and we'll work like this so chain 2 and into the chain 3 space here of the previous row work 3 double crochets for the first row of the pinwheel motif. Then chain 2 again and work your shell, chain 4 shell. So into the first shell work a shell. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain four, and into the last shell work your last shell of this row, fifth row. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, oops, one and two. So this is what we have so far. So we just begin to create our border with ch uh, shell stitch, chain, four shell. Okay, as you can see here, all over the border of our shawl will have this chain, uh, this shell, chain, four shell, and on the next side, on the left side too, on the right side of the, on the left side. Now, for the sixth row, again, chain three, turning chain, and work your first shell into the first shell of the previous row. Okay. Chain four, and work your second shell of the border. Okay, now for the pinwheel motif, chain two, as I said, we have to chain two and into the chain two space of the previous row work two double crochets. In each of your three double crochets work a double crochet. One, two, and Into the next chain 2 space, work another 2 double crochets. Now we have 7 double crochets here, chain 2, and again shell, chain 4, shell to end the row. For the 7th row, Again, chain three, turn your work, work your first shell into the first shell, one, two double crochets, chain two, and again two double crochets for the first shell, chain four, and 
the second shell into the second shell of the previous row. So two double crochets, chain two, and again two double crochets. Now for the pineapple motif, work like this, chain two again, and into the chain two space of the previous row work two double crochets. Actually this is the third row of the pineapple motif. So this, the last row with the double crochets. Then we will begin the first row with single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. So we'll make, we'll make little arches here. So two double crochets, then in each of our seven crochets of the previous row, one double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here we are, the last one, seven. <clears throat> then into the chain two space, add two more double crochets. So now we have seven plus four, eleven double crochets. Chain two, always chain two, before and after the double crochets for the uh, pineapple motif. So always begin with chain two, then with double crochets and uh, finish your motif with chain two. Then our shells. Double crochets, chain two, and again two double crochets, then chain four and the last uh, shell into our last shell. So we finished our seventh row and now let us begin our eighth row. And what I wanted to say is that in this chain three, turning chain three that we have here will be the place that will, so the, the, yes, the place that will put the tassels. Okay, you'll put the tassels because I will not show you, it's really, really easy. You can see just like this. So this is, these are the places. Now, chain three again for the eighth row. Turn your work and let us begin with our shells. This is the first shell into the first shell. Chain four. And this is the second shell. Okay, now, as I said, we have to begin the chain three spaces here. Row, first chain three spaces here. And when we will, so for the, this part of the um, pineapple motif, we will, instead of chain two, to begin and to end the motif, we will chain four at the beginning and at the end of the motif. So, chain four. And into the first double crochet, work a single crochet, chain three, and skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, work a single crochet, chain three, Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet work a single crochet. Chain three. Skip one double crochet and into the next work a single crochet. Chain three again. Skip one double crochet and into the next work a single crochet. Chain three. 
skip one double crochet and into the last double crochet work a single crochet and this is the first row of the motif of the pineapple motif with the arches little arches chain three spaces arches as you wish and as I said we begin with chain four and we end with chain four now work your shell chain four shell to finish the row ninth row chain three to begin turn and work your first shell into the first shell of the previous row chain four and work the second shell into the second shell of your previous row when I said when I say into the second shell or into the first shell, it's the chain two space in between, of course. You just okay. Now we will go on with our arches. Only that we'll have one less. So we have five, and in this row we'll have four, and then three, two, and one. So, chain four, as I said, to begin and to end the arches, the arches part of the pinwheel motif, we chain four. For the double crochet part, we chain two at the beginning, ending of our pinwheel motif. So, chain four and insert your hook into the chain three space. First, chain three space, make a single crochet. Then go on with chain 3 into the next chain 3 space, single crochet. Chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space of the previous row, of course, single crochet. Then chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space of the previous row, single crochet. Then chain 3 again and into the last chain 3 space of the previous row, a single crochet and as I said before now we have one two three four chain three spaces chain four to end your motif to finish your motif sorry three and four and now complete your uh, shells shell chain four shell then I will begin uh, off the camera my um... no I will not I will not, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to finish off the camera this row and I will be back to show you how to begin the next row. So, row number 10. I want to explain the first, let's say, difficult part <laughs> for the shawl is that when you are into this row, so this is the row for the uh, when we worked four chain three spaces for the motif for the pineapple motif and when you begin the row with three chain three spaces for the pineapple motif only on the borders at the borders you will begin two new uh, pineapple motifs how I will show you how so here we have the first this is our first and we are here into our um, row number 10 and it's here that we will begin and we have to complete with three uh, chain three spaces our pinwheel motif and into the second shell of the right side the border we will make three groups of double crochets with two uh, chain two spaces in between them so we will create the 
space here the first shell and the space here as you can see for the second motif for the first motif border motif here and we will put the same thing here into the first um, first uh, shell of the left side border okay so here three double crochet groups and all along your pattern as long as you wish you you want to make the your shawl you will pay attention and when you are in your uh, when you are to work your row this is only for the borders where you when you are to work the uh, row with three chain three spaces for the motif on the border you have to begin uh, another so a new motif on the border the two borders only on the two borders because here in um, in the middle let's say in the core of our shawl we will begin later the motifs okay actually two rows later <laughs> okay so let's see only the two of the borders so all along the pattern only the two of the borders the two uh, motifs two pinwheel motifs of the borders begin uh, first okay so into the uh, row that you complete your uh, chain three your um, three arches of chain three of your pinwheel stitch pinwheel motif okay so hope I was clear enough let us begin chain three to turn turn your work and work your first shell okay chain four and now as I said for the second shell we will work like this two double crochets so one shell actually complete shell so full shell okay and now we will add chain two and two more double crochets okay into the same shell into the same chain two space so this is what we have and here into the second chain two space we will begin to work our motif and here we will continue on our shell of the border okay now let us work our um, pinwheel motif with three chain three spaces so begin with chain four into the first chain three space single crochet then chain three and into the second chain three space single crochet chain three and into the next chain three space single crochet chain three and into the next chain three space single crochet and as you can see we have three so this is the row when we begin two more pinwheels motifs only 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 at the borders so don't forget this is really important okay chain 4 and here into this shell we will make exactly the same thing that we did here so a complete shell two double crochets chain 2 two double crochets and then add chain 2 and two more double crochets into the same chain two space 
and now we have made here to the mm, beginning let's say of another pinwheel motif and go on with four chains and the last chain so this is really really important all over the pattern don't forget to begin first into every row where you when you work three chain three spaces of your border motif you have to begin two more border motifs okay here as I did here you have to make all over all over your uh, can you see here too oops no you can't here okay so I don't know how to it's really so like this and like this here and here here and here okay so when you are with your border pinwheels at the um, into the row that you have to complete three chain three spaces you begin with another border motifs on the right side and on the left side of course okay so this is our border motifs and we begin two more and into the middle we begin later and I will show you of course okay so this is our row number 10 finished and we begin two more motifs <laughs> 